Fantastic, James. Do you smell the air? You really like being up here, don't you? You know I do. You used to hate it, remember? <laughs> yeah, I used to just come from my gran. And now? What brings you now? Mm, all sorts of things. I'm very fond of cows. <laughs> OK, come for you too. Not missing Mike? No, James. None of that. It's about time you realised that Mike's an old friend of mine. Oh, I do. At least I'm trying to. How is he, by the way? Well, he was getting home today. Come on. There's Granny, leaning in the gate post as usual. She's looking better. Yeah, I think she is. Had a good walk then? Brilliant. Aye, I can see it's put some colour in those city cheeks. <laughs> Maggie's eye far too pale. <laughs> <laughs> the post has just been. Anything for me? No, it's not very often I get a letter. No, grand. Oh, except from you, Maggie. But now that you're here, here you are. Heaven help me. At the moment of truth. Education department. Will it be your highest results then, Maggie? Yes, well, I think I'll need to open this one inside. Well, are you going to keep us hanging on all day? How did you do then? Not too bad. Three A's and three B's. Oh, not too bad, she said. <laughs> oh, what a relief. Well done. Oh, I always knew you were a smart lass. Oh, well, she brought me luck, Margaret Ross. Aye, she I brought luck to folk, my granny. So you wore her brooch, did you, at the exams? Oh, I certainly did. <laughs> that should get you into university. Look, I still need maths, remember? And I'm thinking of doing all level geology. Why geology? I'm getting interested in rocks. Ah, oh, that's a fine thing to be interested in. There are many bonny stones in the hills. All kinds of agates, and quartz, and Cairn Gorms, even. Oh, this is from Jean. Let's see what's been happening to the McKinley family since I've been away. It's at least time for one disaster. I hope you're all having a good holiday and that Gran is well. Things have been quiet here since you left. <laughs> That'll do, James Fraser. Maybe that's the solution. What, me staying away? <laughs> Dad and Uncle Tammy are getting on with a new job. Mum's bought a new dress for a holiday. And Aunt Jessie's had a hair-tinted copper beach for Benidorm. <laughs> oh, and Neil's enjoying the shipping firm. Oh, I'm glad. He was always daft about ships. <laughs> Mind him carving them out of wood. I'm fond of that lad. Mm, you're fond of a lot of lads, if you ask me, Gran. Uh, only the nice ones, like Jamie here. Thank you, Mrs McKinley. Mm. Mm, Isabel and I have decided to go hostling together. And we've thought of cycling. Does Isabel cycle? After a fashion. <laughs> Isabel's one of my pals. I am mind you mentioning it. Hmm. We're thinking of trying to come up to the Glen. No, oh, I'd like fine to see Jean again. Be a long way to come, all the way from Glasgow up here. Ah, it'll do them good. Mm. 
Well, all does seem quiet in the western front, thank goodness. First sign of trouble and they'll be yelling for me. The thing would be not to hear sometime. I just might try that. Yeah. Uh, I can't just see you not hear it. <laughs> Unfortunately, neither can I. Uh, are you going to open your other letter? Not just now. All right, I will then. It's from Mike, but you guessed that, didn't you? Do you want to read it? Don't be silly. You must tell James's parents your good news, Maggie. Mm, I will. Shall we go over now? OK. Congratulations, <laughs> Maggie. And from me, you've done very well. Oh, thanks. We're all proud of you. <laughs> Your mother will be delighted. Oh, I'm going to phone her this afternoon. I'm very pleased for you too, Maggie. Oh, thanks, Katrina. Hey, it was really great you could get off. Yes, it was. I've got two weeks. Alexander's coming for the weekend, oh. by the way. He's arriving this afternoon. Brilliant. We must have a drink to celebrate, Peter. Maggie, what would you like, elderflower or elderberry? Or would you rather have rhubarb? Uh... I've got a better idea, Elizabeth. Now, what about this? Oh, <laughs> why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get some glasses. You could get the ice, Katrina. I don't know why we have to have Alexander. Well, they are engaged, Elizabeth. You can't take that seriously. Well, I think she does. What would you say, Maggie? Well, I would say she did. I mean, he's really very nice once you get to know him. Well, it's good to have an excuse for a little celebration, eh? I can only find an odd assortment. That's all we have. <laughs> Next thing will be my wedding. There's no rush, dear. You're not 18 yet. Soon will be. Plenty of time. You young people, you're always in such a hurry these days. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank James, you. you'll never make a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maggie, here's yeah. to the start of a glorious career. Oh, Cheers. I'll get to New Guinea yet. I shall come along as expedition, Doctor. <laughs> Well? Oh, Mum was over the moon. Great. <laughs> and Dad said, it was not too bad then. I hope I do as well in my A-levels. Oh, you will. I need to do very well to make the Edinburgh Medical School. I have very stiff entrance requirements. You're not worried, are you? No, not really. Maybe I should be, but I can't think about it. <laughs> School exams all seem so far away. What's up? Oh, he's midgibites. Why do they always go for me? Must know when they're into a good thing. <laughs> I could eat you up myself. <laughs> Don't you think I'm a nice mosquito? Very nice. Can you not leave well alone? Well, I don't know if that's how to describe the state of your cupboards. Oh, how long have you had this? Oh, no, not long. Just a day or two. It'll do for our dinner tomorrow. Does it smell very appetising? Give it to me. Fresh as a daisy. Well, I suppose daisies might smell like that when they're decomposing. The rubbish. Stick it in the oven and give it a good roast. I will not. You may not mind food poisoning, but I do. Oh, yeah. It's Maggie. Oh, I'll need to be going. Alexander will have arrived. And they'll be wanting a diversion. I'll see you later. You've been busy this week, Alexander? Oh, I haven't had a minute. Don't you work Saturdays? Yes, I usually do, but I got this one off specially. Oh. Alexander's the top stylist in the salon. Must be pretty good, then, eh? Oh, I don't know. It's very good. There's no need to be modest. What he'd really like to do is set up in his own business. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'd recommend that. <laughs> yes, Maggie knows all about the trials and tribulations, don't you, Maggie? But hairdressing's a different kettle of fish from plumbing. Brilliant piece of observation, that. <laughs> People pay on the spot. You don't have all the trouble of waiting for them to settle their bills. Mm. Hairdressers are doing quite well still. Not the one my mum goes to. But Alexander would be after quite a different clientele. Katrina. Anyone want more coffee? No, thanks. Yes, I'll have some. Cool. <clears throat> you know, I think window cleaning would be a good business to set up in. Mm. All you'd need is a bucket. And a chamois. True, that would be an added expense. <laughs> 
Still, if I don't get into medicine and you get fed up with anthropology, we could set up on our own as a dynamic window-cleaning duo. Yeah, you could do the balancing and the outside ledges and I'll hold your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I'm sure you'd soon get fed up with that. Yeah. We went to look at some premises last week. Premises, dear? Premises for a hairdressing business, Elizabeth. Well, why not? I'd like it too and all Alexander's clients would go with them. There's just one small problem, I imagine. Do you have any money, Alexander? Well, no, really. I mean, not much. I've got a hundred or two. <laughs> that wouldn't get you anywhere. Oh, I know that. And you know perfectly well that I wasn't we could... thinking that, Mrs. Fraser. Fancy a walk, Katrina? Yeah, right. Better watch the midges don't get you. Oh, I can handle a few midges. It won't be long. I still don't like him, Peter. And, uh, would you fancy a walk too, madam? Mm. I'll protect you from your insect enemies. Well, in that case. See you later. Good night. Good night. Good night, dear. I'm worried about them too, Peter. Yes, I can see that. I think you're my biggest insect enemy. Enemy? How could I be that? I love you, Maggie. Please, James, not here. Grand might see out the window. How could she possibly see us from here? Anyway, she was young once herself. <laughs> she often says so. Yes, I know, but their day they probably only held hands. I'm not so sure about that. But it's not her day, is it? It's ours. you too, but I think I'll be going to bed now. We thought we'd stay up a bit longer. Seems a shame to waste the fire. Did you see James and Maggie by any chance when you were out? No. Oh, I expect they'll be in soon. Now, don't forget to put the fire guard up. We won't. Good night, Mrs. Fraser. Good night, Alexander. Good night, dear. Great smell, that, eh? Wood smoke. Don't tell me you're beginning to like being in the country. Oh, I like it, it's like this. Just the two of us. I like it like this too. Enjoy your shower? Oh, it was a real luxury. I haven't had a decent wash since I left home. I don't know how your granny's managed all her life without a bath. Oh, she's got an old zinc thing. She doesn't use it much, though. Mm, it's a bit of a problem. And her eyes are getting worse, too. Though she won't admit it, of course. You two going for a walk with Mum and Dad this afternoon? Oh, didn't she say something that would be going right along the ridge? It's a nice day for a walk. Uh, I'd like to see you going. I wouldn't mind, but it's Katrina. Uh, of course, in your condition. Anyway, Alexander and I would like to have two minutes alone together before he goes home. So you want us to go with mother and father, eh? Oh, I'll sacrifice myself. I will do the same for you sometime. <laughs> I will. We'll keep you to it. So what excuse are you going to give for not going, then? I've got a sore foot. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm going to tell her tomorrow about my condition, as you call it. Are you sure you don't want to tell her before I go? I don't think we'll bother going too far, Peter. Not today. You're thinking about Katrina and Alexander, are you? You can always <laughs> read my mind, can't you? Well, <laughs> I have lived with you for a number of years. But I don't think we should cut our walk short so that you can go back and keep guard on Katrina. You can't watch her all the time. And she is engaged, whether you like it or not. You wouldn't disapprove, then? I would wouldn't you? approve or disapprove, Elizabeth. I try to be realistic about things. Yes, well... 
Let's hope it doesn't come to that, Peter. She's far too mature emotionally to cope with a physical relationship. Oh, you might be right. Oh, come on, then. We'll take the shortcut. <laughs> hey, we're going to take the shortcut back. Okay. So you have to get married. That's why you're doing it. But you don't have to. No, it's not why I'm doing it. We decided to get married before I got pregnant. Mother, I'm sorry. I don't want to upset you. I'm not important in all this. It's you that matters, Katrina. I just don't want you to ruin your life. Why do you think I will? Just because you don't like Alexander. But I do. Presumably, you must. It's just that you're so young. Why do you keep saying that? You and Alexander have so little in common. Well, except for one thing, obviously. No, let me speak, Katrina. You've got to try and stand back a little and look at the relationship. It's not too late to change your mind, you know. You mean not have the baby? It's a possibility. Not for me, it isn't. Oh, can't you see anything except from your own point of view? Just because you waited until you were 25 and had it all planned doesn't mean I have to. Lots of girls have children at 18. Oh, Katrina! Mother. Are you sure you'll be all right now? Of course I will. Why would I not be? Don't I manage all the time soon you're not here? After a fashion. Mr. Fraser is cooking the dinner, did you say? Why shouldn't he? He's making spaghetti. He made the mistake of saying he was a dab hand with pasta when he was a student. Mrs. Fraser pounced on him and said he could cook the supper then. Mm. I could never have seen my Andrew doing that. Oh, Mr. Fraser doesn't mind. Anyway, he was wanting to give Mrs. Fraser a rest. She's been lying down all afternoon with a headache. That's not like her. She's usually so active. Katrina told her about the baby. Ah, well. Poor woman. I dare say it was a shock for her. She's taking it very well, though. It's amazing. She can make him over a bit strong at times, but she's a sensible woman and very decent. I have a lot of time for Mrs. Fraser. She's been very good to me. Mm, I know. I'll have to do it. Don't hurry back, dear. I won't wait up. I'll look in on you later. Have a good time. Well, thanks, Gran. Bye-bye. Right. Your pasta was very good, Peter. You must do it more often. Yes, I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> I'm glad to see you've perked up again. I had to, didn't I? She's my daughter, after all. I wasn't going to abandon her. I just have to make the best of it. Oh, that's what life's about, isn't it? Hmm? I do wish you'd speak to James, though, Peter. I know he won't pay any attention to me. About what? Him and Maggie. Oh, we can't interfere there, Elizabeth. We don't want another hurried marriage in the family, though, do we now? Oh, well, I see what you're getting at. Okay. Oh, thank oh. you. Oh, it was fantastic oh. meal, Mr. Fraser. Thank you, Maggie. If this goes on, I'll be applying to get into the good foot gun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need to teach James how to make spaghetti. Might come in useful, especially since you're not such a brilliant cook. Oh, I don't know. I'm a damp hand with beans on toast. Can't live on that. <sighs> oh, I feel so sleepy. That food and wine in the fire. Which? <laughs> I'll turn off the big light whilst you're up, will you? Okay. Be too late out of our beds tonight. I thought we might all go into Inverness first thing in the morning. Mm. Well, uh, let's see how we feel in the morning, shall we, Elizabeth?
Maggie can sleep anywhere. Hmm. She's like a dormass. I think it's time we all turned in. It's getting late now. I'll switch the porch light off, Peter. Yep. Your granny's house is on fire. Stay back, Maggie! Wet the towels, Jim. Ah! Maggie! Are you OK? Now you stay here. Take her back, James, and get a towel. Now stay here. Do you know what if she should die? I'm sure they'll get her out. Oh. Let's try the window. Now be careful. Look, it's no use. We'll have to try the side door. There's Mummy. Some more towels, girls. Katrina! Now you stay here no matter what. Come on, James. The fire brigade and ambulance are on their way. We've got miles to come. Oh. Are they inside? Yes. Take these, Katrina. Shut your hand here. Yeah. Well Steady now. She's still alive. Oh, yes, yes. She'll be all right. More blankets, Katrina. Get some round her. She'll be in shock. Where's James? I thought he was behind me. My God, he must be still inside. You go stay here. Elizabeth! Okay. 